Hi everybody, I'm going to give you um, a quick update as to where I've kind of been because I feel like I've been mysteriously silent um, for probably almost a week. Um, I actually took some time this weekend and went home to New York. Well, not really home. Um, I went to New York and cleaned out my storage unit, which has been probably three years in the making. Finally did it. Um, finally got rid of everything that I didn't need anymore or was ruined from having been in storage for three years and um, took the stuff that I really wanted back um, with me, including my car, um, which was a huge headache um, coming back. Uh, really got raked over the calls at the border coming back into Canada and then had to go inside and endure some more. And when it was all said and done, the only thing I couldn't prove to the border agent was that I had bought my snow tires, which were in my back seat, um, and I had bought them prior to Saturday. Um, and since I couldn't do that, they taxed me on them, but whatever. $23, $23 $24. Um, yeah, no big deal. So anyway, I made it back. It was a very long day. Um, made it back, got the car. So now I have to go through the process of registering the car here in Canada, um, mailing the, the New York State uh, plates back to the DMV and getting that all taken care of. But that's okay, I'm gonna get it done. Um, in the meantime, while I was cleaning out my storage unit, waiting for my car at the mechanic and dropping things off at my mailbox and picking stuff up and mailing packages out, um, I did stop at Target. I didn't get that much. I saw I'm Target in the mall. Um, and I didn't get that much at either place. The Target I went to, I normally go to this Target, I call it the, the off the beaten path Target uh, because my storage unit's in Buffalo and a lot of Canadians go to Buffalo for shopping. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Um, it's just if I want something that I know is American that we don't have in Canada, I kind of have to travel a little further to get it because if I stay close to like the Galleria, the Target there, the Walmart there, um, guaranteed I won't find it. So anyway, I went to the mall, um, stopped at Victoria's Secret to pick up the Naked's palette, which I guess, you know, I haven't even taken it out of the package, I guess is Victoria's Secret's answer to the actual Urban Decay Naked palette. Um, I haven't opened it, checked it out in the store. They have the display in the um, Victoria's Secret in Toronto at Eaton Center, but no product. Um, what else is new? So I got that, and I got some other unmentionables that I'm not gonna show you. Um, and then I stopped at Target, and um, two Revlon products that probably will end up blowing my mind. I'm wearing both of them right now. One is the new Revlon Color Stay Whipped Cream Makeup, and I got mine in Sand Beige, which is 200. I'm not sure this is the right color, I'm wearing it now, uh, lighting's a bit weird. It doesn't look that bad, so I'm gonna give it a shot. Um, it seems a little flat, so I may just kind of warm it up with some bronzer. But other than that, I, I, I do like it, I do appreciate it. Um, the consistency's interesting, I've been applying it with a brush. I may try something different later. And then, um, definitely gonna be a blog on this though, cause we don't have it here yet. We might not ever get it here in Canada. The other product is something people are, are in the States are going absolutely gaga over. So I picked one up because they literally had one color. They had one product. They had the tester and then it, one that was wrapped up. And then the other ones were all open or used. Um, shame on you people at Target. Are these just bitten kissable balm stains? And people are going nuts over these. And at first I thought, big deal. These are just like the chubby sticks from Clinique. And I have those, and they're not that great. Well, these are a big deal. Um, this one's in Smitten, and I'm wearing it now, and I really like it. Um, it goes on real easy, not drying, and gradually kind of fades to a stain. I probably get, pro let's see, maybe six hours out of it, which is quite impressive for a drugstore brand. Um, so yeah, another review on these coming up. Maybe a comparison to the Chubby Stick. Um, and what I'm saying, what I'm thinking is, um, why don't we have these yet? I love these. So anyway, that's it. 
Um, today's a holiday here, so just got off the phone with the New York State DMV, figuring out what I have to do with my car. Um, nothing's open, so did a little housework this morning. Going to finish up um, the housework after this, and then just uh, spend the rest of the night relaxing before I have to go back to work. So, hope you're having a good um, start to your week, and like, comment, subscribe. I'll do the same.